All right, so let's jump into this. So today we are going to be looking at an IADL question for your MBCOT exam. And everything I do use for you guys is a MBCOT exam question. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's jump right into this. So here is our question. So the question is this. Which of the following homemaking activities use the greatest range of bilateral shoulder flexion and elbow extension? So before you even go on to the answer choices, let's just kind of sit on this information here. And I want you guys to kind of pay attention to this. You want to pay attention to this particular because it is showing you a key. The key is greatest, right? Greatest. So we want to make sure we pay really close attention to this word. So when you're looking at the questions and you're on the exam, before you even get to the answer choices, right? Just focus on the question first before going and reading. Because a lot of times what we would like to do is we read the answer choices and then we go I'm sorry we read the question and then we continue on to reading the answer choices and by the time you finish the last answer choice you're like what did I just read so don't even do that to yourself read the question first figure out what's going on in the question think about what's happening within that question try to come up with your own reasoning while you're looking at the question then go on and read the answer choices which is really uh it's a small little key additive, but it really makes a difference. And I suggest you try it and see how you feel. So right now we're looking at what it says greatest. So it's telling us which of the following home making activities. So whenever you see the word home making activities, you should already know that you're a, this is going to be a IADL question, which is instructional activities of daily living. That's what IADL means, right? And it asking you, um, it said, what is the greatest um, activity you're going to use for whatever is going to be listed below? So you already know that this is going to have to be a homemaking activity that uses the greatest range of motion of bilateral shoulder flexion and elbow extension. Now, one thing I want to mention about this particular question is there's two things happening here. And I teach this in my course. We have something called the flex method and we have the straight concept. Okay. So in a nutshell, and again, if you haven't watched my video about flex and straight, definitely go back, um, put in my name there in the search flex and it will come up and you really get a good insight into what this means and what I'm talking about. But just to sum it up for you real quick, a flex method is really based on the question itself providing you valuable keys um, or keywords or just information to help you figure out the question. Whereas the straight concept is really um, the question is just giving you information that either you know it or you don't. Now, this particular question is a straight concept. Why is it a straight concept? Because if you do not know what bilateral shoulder flexion is and elbow extension, you're going to get this wrong, right? So this is considered a straight because it's not really giving you much detail. It's not really giving you much information. Yes, it mentions the word greatest. Yes, it's talking about homemaking activities, but that's really about it. So you, you don't have much information to support your reasoning. All you know is that the question has to do with homemaking. So let's go ahead and let's continue on with this question. Okay. So before we pause the video, let's go ahead, let's read it again, and let's look at the answer choices. So it said, which of the following homemaking activities uses the greatest range of bilateral shoulder flexion and elbow extension? Okay, so when we think about shoulder flexion, right, we want to think of your arm is going straight up in the air. Let me try to get myself in the camera here, right? You're doing a straight up motion. This is considered shoulder flexion. 
okay? When it's talking about elbow, let me get myself again in the camera. When it's talking about elbow extension, my elbow is currently in a flex state. So if I'm doing extension, I'm doing this motion. Okay, so really what this looks like is I'm going up, I might be going up, and then I am extending. Okay, so again, I'm going up shoulder. This is shoulder flexion. Okay, and then I'm extending. So I'm in shoulder, I'm in elbow extension. All right. So option A says ironing shirts and placing them on a hanger. Option B says washing dishes in a sink and drying pots and pans. Option C says folding sheets and hanging towels on a clothesline. Option D says dusting tablecloths and vacuuming carpets. So what I want you guys to go ahead and do now, I want you to think about what we just mentioned prior, and I want you to pause your video now. And when you pause this video, please write down your answer, right? Write it down on a piece of paper. Don't just come up with it in your mind. It's really helpful when you write it down and not just only write down the answer, write down why you are saying, why you're picking what you're picking. Write yourself a rationale. Rationales are so important. All right. So go ahead, pause the video now and come on back. All right. So at this point, you should have already paused your video. And what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the answer choice. So if you had said, answer choice C, you got it correct. Now let's look at why this is correct. Now, if you had said A, let's think about this. You're ironing shirts and placing them on a hanger. All right. So this one could be possibly the answer, right? Um, because if you're ironing a shirt, think about the motion of your arm, right? And the thing that the question said that really sticks out to me personally is bilateral. Okay. So it's telling you that it's not singular. Okay. So that means you're abusing both your extremities. So yes, ironing shirt can be great. Okay. Because you're ironing shirt, usually you iron with one hand and you're placing it on the hanger. So you're going to be holding the hanger and then you're placing a shirt on the hanger. All right. But a lot of times when you're doing this, you're not necessarily using, um, bilateral. You're still using one arm in this motion. So we're going to come back to a, but a was like, if you were struggling between a and C, that's a good, that's a good position to be in. And we'll kind of circle back to A. So if you said B, washing dishes. So you, let's think of, think of if you're standing there, you're washing dishes in the sink and you're drying pots and pans. So really the motion is, is that you are drying, but you are not really performing bilateral shoulder flexion. You're mainly in elbow flexion. If you think about your body, think about your position and just imagine yourself washing dishes. Okay. There's some rotation happening there, right? At the GH joint, you got, um, you definitely have some elbow flexion going on, right? Not necessarily elbow extension because you are drying. Um, and then if we look at D, you're dusting tablecloths again, you're dusting tablecloths and you're vacuuming carpet. Now, a lot of times when we vacuum, most, most often than not, we are going in one motion versus using bilateral. So this is why C is um, going to be the best answer, um, because you're folding sheets and you're hanging towels on a clothes hanger. All right. So let's think about folding sheets. What is the motion that you're doing when you're folding a sheet? So a lot of times when you're folding the sheet, yes, you're going to be using elbow flexion at a point, but you're also extending because you have to, you have to open up the sheet. And what, what really makes this, um, that correct answer, what really ties it in is now we're saying that you're hanging towels on a clone clothesline right? So if you're hanging towel, you actually have to bring your arms up and you have to go into shoulder flexion. All right. So I hope that that made sense. And I said, I was going to circle back to a, the reason why it's not going to be a is because you're placing them, you're put, you're ironing a shirt. Okay. And you're placing them on a hanger. 
it doesn't necessarily mean that you're putting the hanger in the closet right? So a lot of times when we're placing a, a shirt on a hanger, we're not doing it with our arms up in the air, right? We're not in shoulder flexion, right? So that is why it's not A, but I can see why somebody might think it's A, but if it had said, you know, you're ironing a shirt and then placing uh, the shirt on a hanger into the closet, you know, that can, that definitely changes the game altogether. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is the MBCOT rationale. Pretty much they said the results of task analysis for each of these activities indicate that folding sheets and reaching to hang clothes on a clothesline requires the greatest amount of bilateral shoulder flexion and elbow extension. And this is why I said, if you had the was thinking like a, um, you was in a good ballpark, but the key, remember I said, this is why we underline greatest in the beginning is because now you want to think what would be the greatest pertaining to those range of motion. So I hope that you guys like this. If you're loving my videos and you're liking my style, please go over to my website, studywithacoda.com, where you can find my course, where I lay this all out in even greater detail. Like this is just surface level stuff we're doing here on YouTube. So if you really want to understand how to break down these questions, definitely go over to my site and check that out. And I'm going to also be posting some tips on my Instagram. So definitely go and check me out there. I post a little bit about my life and my day to day. So go to Instagram. You can find me at Tamisha Tross. All right. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.